Some 90 years ago, this house on the shore of Loch Mask in County Mayo was the home of a man whose story has been forgotten, if they ever knew it, by most of the millions of English-speaking people who unknowingly use his name. And this house and its estate were the scene of a struggle the like of which had never been known before, a struggle which was watched hopefully by the oppressed Irish and apprehensively across the water by Whitehall. It was a struggle between landed power and privilege, banked by the authority of church and state, against humble people, and its outcome showed what Gandhi was to show many years later in India, that might is powerless against passive resistance. In 1880, Parnell advised a desperate Irish peasantry not to use violence against their rack-renting and evicting English landlords and their agents. They were to use a subtler weapon, and the man who lived here was to be the first victim. Surprisingly, Irish discipline was perfect. When the man who lived in this house woke up one Monday morning, he found himself alone. There were no servants in the house. There was nobody in the stables. When he walked down to the home farm, he found it deserted. No estate workers of any kind turned up. When he rode into neighboring Kong, shopkeepers refused to sell him anything. People wouldn't talk to him. The postman wouldn't deliver letters. When the crops were in danger of rotting in the fields, Lord Erne appealed to authority, and authority acted swiftly and purposefully. Forty orangemen were brought down here from Ulster to bring in the crops. They were escorted through a wandering and derisive countryside by a strong force of red-coated English cavalrymen, fully armed, whose tents filled this park for weeks. The man who lived here at first thought that he and authority were sure to win against defenceless tenants, and at the height of the trouble he even sued some of his tenants in Kong Court for trespass by hens. But his defenceless tenants had a whole countryside behind them, and when the land agent walked out of Kong Court, the town band played the dead march. This must have been almost a pleasant experience after being treated for weeks as though he had no existence. In the end, even he gave up. You can't go on living in a social vacuum. Redcoats even fully armed and no protection against social ostracism. One night, the man who lived in this house rode quietly away and never came back. His name was Captain Charles Boycott. Good night.